In this video, we're going to be talking about how to create a folder within your Schoology course and how to edit it later on. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you're in the course that you want to be in um, to add this folder. And then you're going to go up to the top left and you're going to click on Add Materials. And you'll notice in this new screen that the first option is Add Folder. So you're going to click on that and this new screen will appear. Now, notice there's an asterisk next to title. That means that you need to include this in order for um, you to create the folder. And actually, for this, um, for a folder, the title is all you really have to have. So I'm going to put in um, reading unit one, and you'll notice that it had some options that I've already used before. And so you, that's kind of a nice piece that you can just click on them and I'll add it in. Um, then I'm going to click on the folder color. Now the folder color is a nice option for organizing um, subject areas, units, stuff like that. I'm going to pick orange for this one. You can put in a description. So I'm going to say this unit will cover non-fiction text pictures. And you can play around with the font and stuff like that and um, add in pictures and stuff like that right here. Then you're going to, if you would like, um, add in the date that you're going to start. I'm going to say April 16th. Now, you don't have to do this, but you can if you want to. You can also add in an end date. So I'm going to pick May 31st. All right. And then the availability. This is a great option. If you don't want your students to be able to view the folder um, right away, but you want to later on when you actually start the unit. So right now it's in the published mode, but I can go into the unpublished mode. And what this does is you can still see your folder, um, but your students can't. And when you um, save it or create, it will show up in a lighter faded looking color um, than the normal folder. You also can publish it at the start date and once um, and it will just keep it until you decide that you want to unpublish. Another option is publish during date range. So if you put in these dates right here, it's going to open up and be published on 41619. And then as soon as 53119 is done, then it's going to unpublish itself. So that's a nice way if you don't want to have to remember to unpublish it later, you could do that option. So I'm going to click on that, and then it's going to create my folder for me. So you see I have my folder color, it has the description, the title, and then it even tells me when it's available. Now, if you ever want to go back and change your folder, all you have to do is come to the right side and click on the gear button, and then you can click edit. You can also unpublish directly from this piece right here. Um, you can move it, you can copy to courses, you can save it to your resources, um, or you can delete the folder, all right? I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to create a folder and edit it within Schoology.